I was living over here on 21st and Locust. And um, me, Lil, Twan, and Chris, we was uh, posted on the stairs one day. Lil was banging on the rail. It's like, kick a flow. He, make, he used to make my beats when I was doing the little drug music. And then one day, I uh, made my uh, homie Twan. I was living on 21st and Locust. And I told him, like, hey, man, set the booth up. I'm about to come make an album in three days. I need some new music. And then I walked outside, and then I seen Das. And then he was like, hey, you, uh, you got some you got some raps out here? I was like, yeah. So I got closer, and I was like, oh, this is Daz. Like, I didn't know it was him, because I was low key from a distance. Never know who you can meet on the street. And then, yeah. so I went up and I rapped for him. And he was like, all right, for sure, I like your styles. And then he was like, who you rap with? And I told him, Twan, Lil, and Chris. <coughs> he was like, all right, come back, and we gonna hook up later. And I was like, all right, for sure. So I ran across the street to the homie studio there. I was like, hey, my nigga, I just smacked ass. And then the homie Chris was like, man, fuck this rapping music. Like, and then Twan was like, hey, write some rap for me, bro. So I wrote for him real fast. And then right after I wrote for him, like, we came back outside. And then Daz was like, hey, come here. We took a photo shoot, we got some pictures, got in the studio. The homie Chris had made us like two beats. And then that song was called Uh Oh. And then the other song was called Savage Family and T. And then it just jumped off from there and then, like, we did one concert, um, Summer uh, Jerk Fest 2009, we did good or whatever in there. Um, like, I, we had a group called Savage Fam, and, like, I just left the group because niggas was getting too big-headed, and I was still giving my music to Das, and then he was like, hey. You need to go solo. Yeah, he told me you need to go solo. He been telling me that from the jump, though, but I was just trying to look out for the homies, you know? And then um, he was like, what can we do to get you on some paperwork? And I was like, talk to my mom. And then we went across the street when I was living on Locust. And we talked to my mom, signed the contract. And then just went off from there. Now it's 2010. I'm doing new stuff now. New me. Yeah, you know what it is. Finally be. What about when we went to Snoop Dogg house? Huh? Oh, that was a big moment in hip-hop for me because I was nervous because he knew a lot of people. He met a lot of people. Made a lot of money for himself. And he had, um, big uh, name in Long Beach, and he is from Long Beach, so, like, I was kind of nervous, but at the same time, I was, like, not nervous because this this is, like, a good moment for me, but... And the just, new boys was in there, so you could be too there. nervous up in there. And then when I went in there, like, I shook his head, like, and then and was like, yeah, we got a little pilot up in here, like, what's up, nephew, shook his head. Yeah, and money was like, oh, um, yeah, he's fresh off the two-one block, he's seasoned. And then Snoop was like, you know, that's my block before it became your block. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, that's crazy. And then I got on two songs with him. So, yeah, that should help me out a lot, too. And then I got my own album coming out, Catch Me on the East. And then um, I got some Superfly beats, one g beats, Daz beats. So it should kick off with me. Mm. So what you got planned for the future? What's, what you be dreaming? What you be dreaming at night when you go to sleep? I know you be dreaming. I know, but those dreams shouldn't be talked about. <laughs> but uh, my, my real dreams is to have a big house for my family, you know, do for my mom, because she been there my whole life supporting me. Like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for her, and I wouldn't be able to do my music stuff if I wasn't born. So, yes, I'm there. That's what it is. What your mom think about Jazz Dillon? She be calling you Dash. She's like, <laughs> she's like oh, um, so when you gonna go back to uh, me, Dash? And I be like, oh yeah, we gonna go to the studio or we got a concert coming up. I be telling her everything that's going on because yeah. she a big supporter. And my sister, one of my sisters is one of my big supporters too. And then so, um, I be so if I do when I do get famous, and, uh, wealthy and stuff, I'm gonna do for my family and my sisters, my niece and my nephews and stuff like that. Real. What about your sister-in-law? Well, who's my sister-in-law? <laughs> your brother just got married. <laughs> I really don't. Well, my brother, I'm going to still look out for him, but I ain't going to be there as much for him because it's been a lot that he put me through, and I'm on probation because of him. So I really don't want to talk about that, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. With my brother and my and my sister-in-law, I mean, she cool. Like they having a baby, so 
if it's a boy or a girl, it don't matter what it is. When I do get wealthy and famous, I'm gonna look out for the baby, but I won't really be there for them because they put me through a lot. They threaten to call my PO all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they be like, oh, fuck your career, nigga. You ain't gonna be shit. All right, for sure, man. Like, damn. So how did you feel like, how, how, how did they feel like when your family noticed your talent and seen that? Damn, he might go somewhere. He is going somewhere. God damn, he's on stage with these big guys. See, after the day, they gonna look and see. Your mom gonna see you up there getting down. This is her first time really seeing you get down, huh? Yeah, this, this is her first time going to one of my shows. Seen at a before. real show, at Power One, not Power One, let's see. Fuck them. Uh, K-Day. <laughs> yeah, K-Day performance today. I, think I don't play nothing there. but jingling music over there at Power One Six. Amen. Yeah, my mom, she, uh, like I told her, like, yeah, I be cussing in my music, but I express, like, everything, I let everything out, like, when I do my music, so I don't hold back from saying nothing, and, um, so, you know, get in contact, like, <laughs> uh, like, I don't hold back from saying nothing for my music, so I be cussing. you don't inhale, nephew, as long as it don't hit your tongue, but you get the taste, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh. Joe Cool be sitting right here, if he hit it. Gonna steal everything in this <laughs> And then like, so <laughs> my mom, she she uh be like, all right, um, so you be cussing, but like she'll be tripping because she be like, at least she doing something positive. You ain't out here gang banging, throwing up hoods, knocking niggas out, shooting at people, going to jail. But like I am on probation, like I said, but like I'd rather not be in the streets. I'd rather be on the mic and doing something positive with my life and then trying to rob people like like I used to. <laughs> You little, you rob a motherfucker that little? Yeah, like, used to be, it's called the stick up kids. <laughs> Bitch, give me the price! <laughs> the stick up kids, snatch and run. And then, I just, I just stopped doing all the stupid stuff. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna do my music stuff. And then, and that's been working out for you. Yeah, really been working out for me. Um, I've been knowing Daz, E Money, you know, from DBG for a long time. Well, not a long time, but for a while now, and then... What's it been like, what? Almost two, two years, years. Three years? Two, three years. And then... Yeah, we got Pilot when he was sounding like Chipmunk. <laughs> and when he listened to himself now, what you do, laugh? Yeah, I laugh now because I was like, I was rapping. I was rapping about that stuff real young. It, it's true, though. And then, I mean, I keep it 100 with my music, so I ain't, I ain't trying to lie about nothing that I do. So whatever I say in my music is real, or whatever I see, or whatever I'm done. So that's basically it, man. Niggas better stop hating on YouTube, man. Like, niggas is haters. Like, I know it's grown, man. Even though you don't want your kids listening to that, you ain't got to write your comments about my music videos, my nigga. I'm doing something positive. Niggas just be hating. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like niggas hating. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, what did get you up there on the what, the Twitter? Yeah, they be hitting me up on my Twitter What's at Pilot X Savage, P I L O T X S A V A G E. Or you can hit up my MySpace.com slash Pilot X Savage or Pilot DPG. Official and website. Up, and you can hit up my website, www.pilotdpg.com. That's all my latest info and everything that I've been doing. And that's what's going to come in soon is my album, Catch Me on the East, produced by Dallas, Superfly, Hello Snack, Snoop. Whole DPG fam, basically. Do then, know that. I'm the newest, youngest, youngest member of DPG right now. Pilot P in the making, Skinny Side Low, and CEO here, Hey Hancho. And then I got my producer, Lil Snack. I need some beats from him too. And G Beast, he moved to Texas, but that's still my nigga. I'm gonna look out for him no matter what. Yeah, he got he, some beats. This shit going down there and get a lot of bass going on. <laughs> Boom. Niggas yeah. love bass down there. More 808 kids out here in Long Beach. Oh, and then, like, that's basically everything that I've been doing, though. Mm. Well, all right, well, tell the people, how does it feel to be stopped smoking weed? How does it feel? Like, how did you... I feel bad. <laughs> Explain it. I mean, you know, for, where, for, people, like, for the I, young I homies that's out there that's smoking weed, they got to stop. For the young homies out there got to stop, just do it because... You probably got more positive stuff in your life that you need to take care of. And um, the reason I stopped is for a reason, though. I ain't trying to get locked up. My probation got a ticket for smoking weed. And then she said she going to test me, like, randomly. But, um, um, 
randomly is when I come in, so that's not random. But, <laughs> yeah, that's that's dumb though. So I, I messed up for myself. Really, it was like a um, a regular day, and everything was going good. I was posted on the block. Nobody was outside. Really, so I was smoking by myself, and then police rolled up on me. I was listening to my song, going in, feeling myself, just hitting the blunt, trying to get dumb faded. And then they, they hopped out on me with the guns, like, hey, come here. And I was like, damn, like, that's the cop. So I tried to throw it, like, it was a roach. But then they, they came and was like, so uh, you was, we see you smoking the whole time. I was like, it was a black and mild. But they went over there, it was still like a half a blunt. <laughs> it was a kill, too. <laughs> And then they call my mom. And then they had me. Fuck. For a motherfucking roach, huh? No, nah, it wasn't a roach. <laughs> it was half a blunt still. I just told him it was a roach. But first I told him it was a black and mild. Then they was like, so uh, go get it. And I was like, nah. So it was, um, it was just a black and mild. And then they went over there and got it. It was half a blunt. Like, I was just thinking, I was just, yeah, I was just state of shock. It's all part of the cement now. They didn't take you to jail, did they? They didn't take me to jail, they just gave me a ticket, they told me, they, uh, gave me, they took my fingerprint and put it on the back of the ticket, and then they told me to sign my life away. Wow. Man, I was like, I'm gonna let you go. And then they let me go because my mom had came. And then what your mom said? I'm tired of you. You just a fucking badass kid, just getting tickets, going to jail. You ain't gonna be shit. And then like, I, I, I am gonna be something though. But now that she see that I do do positive stuff, she don't talk like that to me no more. And then my brother and his and his uh, baby mama, his wife now, they like, they the only people in my family that downgrade me. The rest of my family, they support all my music, even though I do cuss my uncle, everybody, even though he don't want to hear that stuff, he still, like, you know, support me, like, at least you doing something positive, like, and then my cousins, like, they be hating on me, like, oh, dad's, um, like, some of my cousins, like, um, my older cousin, they be like, oh, dad's getting your head too big, you think you really gonna be something, you just from Long Beach, like, you ain't gonna be nothing, I just be like, oh, all right, every time they talk, like, to me, like, tell me, I mean, I go to the studio, or I get my pen and pad and I just start writing down everything that I think about. And it's basically like stressful because like I'm like, damn, like my family, well some of my family be like, oh yeah, can be shit. And that hurt because like I'm really trying to help y'all. <laughs> Things be hating. Well, tell them who you are and that's it right there. Um, young pilot, going in for real. You already know what it is. Catch me on the East coming soon to you. Mixtapes, all that. Music videos. Go to YouTube. Highly DPG going in. Dad's Billy TV. And then hit up DPGRecords.com. That's all that stuff. 100 ways and everything. My website, PilotDPG.com. My album and everything. Photos that you can check out. Or you can Google me, PilotDPG. You can do whatever. I'll pop up. There you have it. That's just like everything that I've been doing, everything, almost everything that I've been through. Rest in peace to the homie TK and my auntie May. That's the recent, those are the recent deaths in the family. And that make me seem like, oh, they my guardian angel, so they looking over me. And every time I do a show or I get in the studio, I just think about them like they want me to do something positive. They want me, want me to be out here gang banging and stuff, so I just be thinking about them with most of the things that I be doing and then. After I'm done, I feel like, damn, I really accomplished something. And like, I'm doing something positive right now in gang, baby. We love you, Pilot. Love y'all too, man. BPG Records. Here we go. I'm coming. You already know the dance, you Pilot. 15 in the making. Skinny side glow. <laughs>